Yeah, if there was one thing that I would add to my living histories talk, it was something about the importance of problem selection. Um, once time and energy are limited, and so it's worth putting some effort into deciding what to work on. Uh, in my case, it's pretty simple. Uh, I like to work on what my friends are working on, uh, mostly experimentalists. Uh, one major upside of that is that you end up spending time with your friends. Um, I also think for a, a theorist working in biology, uh, there's nothing better than having a long-term experimental partner. I, I refer to it as the gift that keeps on giving, and, and that's so true. Uh, nevertheless, even within that, you know, broader theme that still leaves options for what to work on and so i was thinking about it you know what is it that you know looks to me like a promising direction um and so the, the kind of questions i ask are you know is there something some new data either qualitatively new a new approach or a new organism or even quantitatively new just more data than anyone has had a chance to look at um ideally in-house um something that you know as a theorist or one will get a first look at this new data. Um, also very important since you know we're really physicists, or, uh, is there something physical? Is there a physical issue that we can address that will you know, help understand what's going on in this system? Um, it's also important that there be enough knowledge about the system. Um, you, know, you can have a lot of data uh, and there could be some physics, but if there's too many missing parts, too many unknown players, um, you know, we're just, it's just not ready for theory, um, you know, and different people have different views about when's the right time to, to start uh, working theory on a, on a system. Um, and also, it's very important, um, you know, what's a good fit for someone in the group? I mean, basically, everything that I'm working on, I'm working on with uh, either theory colleagues, but often, you know, with postdocs or, or students in my group. And I think hard about what is the right problem for a person based on the skills that they have and also the skills that they need to develop.